Test Drive with Graham Fletcher. Welcome to Motoring 88. Thanks, Brad. Now, I know you're testing cars each week, but even I know this is not a car. No, that's right. This is one of the latest 4x4s. It's the fastest growing segment in the industry right now. 35 years and four generations ago, the Pathfinder spearheaded Nissan's push into the SUV market. Now comes the new 2022 fifth generation model. The rework touches every facet. The upright stance, sharper tail, LED lighting, and a floating roof line combine to deliver an attractive blend of sophisticated and rugged. The interior is just as sharp and arrives with a healthy list of features. From Nissan's zero gravity seats to an available 9 inch infotainment screen, 12.3 inch customizable instrumentation cluster and a 10.8 inch head up display, it takes the dowdy look from before and gives it some real visual zing. The Pathfinder is also rich from a safety perspective. ProPilot Assist and Safety Shield 360 are now standard on all models. Power comes from a 3.5 litre V6 that makes 284 horsepower and 259 pound feet of torque. The good news is it now works with an all new 9 speed automatic transmission. The combination promises to drop the run to 100 kilometres an hour to around 7 seconds. It also delivers a maximum tow capacity of 2,722 kilograms. All 2022 Pathfinders arrive with a revamped version of Nissan's intelligent all-wheel drive system with a two-speed transfer case. It now works with a seven-function mode selector. The settings run from standard and sport on-road modes to snow and sand terrain modes. The good news is that having traded in the original's off-road chops in favour of a mall assault mandate for the later generations, the latest Pathfinder looks to be heading back to its roots. The latest Pathfinder rides on front struts, multiple rear links and larger tyres. It also benefits from a new dual pinion electric power steering system that Nissan says brings better feel and feedback than it did before. The outgoing Pathfinder tended to be more of a highway cruiser than a corner carver because of the numb steering feel. So the improvement, well it's very welcome. So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well I was in diapers but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe, we really appreciate it.